Anything you wanna tell uh, Mexican people in Spanish? See, si, see. Si. Um, Emily, tu puedes que pegar por mí. Dime que me quieres y diré que sí. Si. Cuando te la meta en el ascensor, <laughs> quiero con todo mi Yeah, the one you're in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, I was walking down the street and someone honked their horn at me, and I thought, and I, I just thought, like, oh, these. I need to be you. So what is it? What is that that you're wearing? That you seem to be wearing every day? <laughs> Bell bottoms. <laughs> so talking about. Okay, you know what's funny is that uh, actually it was you know I, I do feel like because a lot of I was really influenced by the way that. Uh, that Serge Gainsbourg dress, uh -huh. and so I always was wearing like Serge Gainsbourg clothes. Or so. I actually feel like that I wear a lot of Serge Gainsbourg clothes, but um, I was walking out of the coffee shop near my house like just two days ago, and I was in the middle of some phone conversation, and someone came by me and they go, "Nice pants, Greenster." <laughs> so they're that good. They're that good. It's not really like that now. It's kind of like I feel like the, it's it's kind of like one side of me from a few years ago, mm -hmm. you know. But how do you change now? Well, like I don't. You'll see, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but how much how much of it is it really you, and how much of it is like this character you have to go on stage? Or I think at the time it was very kind of blurry because it was kind of like the movie to me is like a complement of the minor love. Wrong Ferrari stuff like that. My album, Minor Love, and the movie Ferrari, yeah. I made this. Which like, you filmed with an iPhone? Which, yeah, well, he was sort of just there with his camera while it was happening, so he was capturing a lot of kind of like emotional things. And he, he, he had like some stuff that he wanted the movie to be, you know? And like, uh, there's a lot of things that happened that weren't, weren't included in the movie, you know what I mean? And like, you know, so that's how I feel about it. But uh, he, I think he's amazing at capturing like good really, things or bad things. Well, like a lot of a lot of really good things. For instance, like it was a very uh, creative time for me, you know. And that's not necessarily reflected in the movie, you know. It's like, um, but um, okay, but you know, but I do think he's amazing at capturing really intimate moments, you know. And like, uh, that sets the movie apart from, you know, from like most other music documentaries I see, you know. And he he really is like a trooper, and he went along on a crazy. Uh, Journey with me, you know, and like. Is uh, he a friend of yours? Or yeah, yeah, a friend. You know, oh. he went along a crazy journey, and like, you know, he like, you know, stayed up late and <laughs> like right. did the whole thing. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> he's cool, you know, and he's a great guy. Um, so I hope to, I think his movie's very, very entertaining. I hope you'll enjoy it, you know. But man, like, I do feel like when I watch it, like, wow, I'm such a bully in the movie, you know. <laughs> I don't feel like that right now. So. That's because you're the first of a new subculture. Called faggots. Faggots, of course. I'm king of the faggots. Faggots? What about Macaulay Culkin? How did he become your friend? He was my, I wanted to be Macaulay Culkin when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, I guess, you know, a lot of people did, and I think, well, you know, the thing is that I wanted to make a movie with him. Uh, since I did, uh, I did an art show called Teen Tech a couple years ago, and he came to the art show, and I just was like, "Hey, you, would you ever consider making a movie?" And he was like, "Maybe," you know. So he said, "I, he, I could give him whatever ideas that I thought of. I could like, I could pass him his way." So, so my first idea was I was gonna. He had written a book called Junior, and I was gonna make a movie uh, of the book with Corey Kennedy. Uh, who's, uh, uh, who, who was going to collaborate with me on, on the thing, and we started writing a script. We got about 20 pages of the script based on his book, and we were interviewing about his life, and I knew everything about Macaulay Culkin, because he like told me everything about his life. I was like the encyclopedia. You wouldn't know about Mila Kunis then. Oh, God. <laughs> well, no comment. But that's Serge Gainsbourg said, no comment. But, so then, we, um, so anyway, but the thing is that the, the movie fell through. Mm -hmm. uh, just, I don't know, like lost steam. So then, the wrong Ferrari happened. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, you know what happened was that 
he said he was just, I was going on tour, and he didn't know that we were making an iPhone movie, you know? He just was like, <laughs> he just wanted to come do something for the summer, and I was like, why do you come on the tour bus? So he came, and then when he got there, he saw us like making this movie, and he was like, I want to be in it. So that's how, that's how it happened. Disappear in complete disarray. So now you, you become a painter. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing a lot of painting. Yeah? Why? You know, the is, I was a painter when I was a kid, and I don't know why I lost sight of it, you know? But I always like had kind of like a really like good drawing style yeah. or something. Like, I was really, like kind of crude, like I always kind of like had a kid's drawing style. But I think that like I'm kind of making it better. All right. But uh, how many galleries have you done? Uh, well, my first art show was in uh, Sweden, uh, like really long time ago. It was called Animal Dreams. So it was around the time of Jack Full of Danger. And then I did. Um, so then I did Team Tech which was like a couple, two years ago. And now it's my third art show, it's called Cartoon and Complaint. I like Rug Ride. Flying Rug Ride. <laughs> Flying yeah. Rug Ride. It's controversial, you know. Yeah, um, yeah like, uh, but, you know, but I want to make a movie of my own version of Aladdin. Like, you know, I'm going to be Aladdin and that's going to be, uh, I think that's the main focus of, of what I want to do. Is Making New York City or watching New York City? I think it would be cool, like, I, originally I wanted to do something with like, uh, yeah, like with like camels and things in New York. But then I just saw that there's this new uh, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen movie. He's got camels in your city. He's like, forget it. I'm going to shoot it in the Caribbean. This shit. <laughs> Train, kiss you all starry eyed. My body swinging from side to side. I don't see what anyone could see in anyone else. But. Here is the church and here is the steeple. We sure are cute for two ugly people. I don't What's your see favorite uh, you could see in any Moldy Peaches song from all the time? Uh, favorite Moldy Peaches song? Like, I don't know, like the Rainbows? Forgive me. Rainbows so is pretty wide. Can't you uh, forgive me? Oh, and uh, there's. I was sitting back and I thought New York City is like a graveyard. Yeah. Really good. That's the first one I heard. So I want to know, I have a wish list for Coachella and I want to know if it's going to be true or not. What? But really? I want a Moldy Peaches reunion. Oh, no one, no one told me. Um, <laughs> it's, it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, we, we did uh, do something uh, like in Brooklyn like a few months ago. Yeah. That was pretty cool. But uh, you know, I would really like to make some new new songs. You know, that's what I don't know. My idea would be like to make some songs. I want to know also because I follow you and um, Binky on Twitter, and I know you were recording something. Yeah, we got it. We got an album with uh, yeah, with it's me and Binky. Binky, it's gonna be called Binky Shapiro and Adam Green. It's uh, coming out in February. And it's done. It's I'm really proud of it. It's like a very like pretty album. You know, uh, and so that I want to come to Mexico City with her. That's what I'm doing. probably next. Yeah, she was here with um, Little Joy a couple of years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah that's kind of huge Little Joy, is, Little Joy is like one of my favorite albums. Uh, definitely of that year, it's like amazing. Yeah, it's pretty. That's one word to describe right, it. Right, right. Well, you know, I think this album is really different than Little Joy, but features, I think, you know, her voice sounded great. So. Nice. Yeah. This is a big question. Who would you rather marry? Jessica Simpson or Kim Kardashian? <laughs> Kardashian. Kardashian? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. And if you were her uh, her husband, what three bands would you introduce to her? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess... Uh, uh, well, I'd want her to clean up her act, as I'd, I'd introduce her to Minor Threat. <laughs> <laughs> then um, I would probably, um, I feel like uh, I'd need some kind of like record to play around the house. Yeah. That just as like kind of, like maybe like Autobahn by Kraftwerk. Gracias a Thank you. Adios. <laughs> Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay.